Hey, welcome back. Segment three, Vendo 39. If you're just now getting into the video series, uh, we've done a complete tear down on this restoration. There's two more videos before this, uh, but this will be segment three. Uh, showing you how to get the door off. Vendo 39, early production machine. All of them come off the same. Uh, most of them have the same hinge and pin set up all the way through, clear through the late 50s. What I like to do on the bottom here is I'll put me a little bit of wood, a couple of two, I got a kind of a two, a couple of two by fours stacked up, and I'll open the door to where it, and then slide this underneath the door and let the weight of the door push up. And it is, and I'll show you on the video, you'll see the hinges coming apart right here if it gets tight like that get you one more piece of wood as you can see it's coming apart <laughs> there we go pull it forward just a little bit boom you're off doors aren't too heavy And we're going to take the, I'm going to do the back first. If you got a little stand, makes it kind of nice. You're going to see a rubber gasket on here that probably hard as a brick. Most of them are. Don't worry about saving it. Pop all that off. You're going to be putting a new one on. This particular gasket, when you buy it, I've always tried to do the, the generic gasket, but man, the pre-molded one, sometimes got the holes already pre-done. Pre so much nicer. To be honest with you, it usually comes off a little worse than this. <laughs> I even used a um, back claw hammer <laughs> to take them off. It makes life a little easier. Good. Vendo 39, metal back, 99.9% .9 of the time, you will be reusing that. Every now and then, you'll have one rusted out at the bottom. Not very much. The later the machines go, they start using a plastic back. And... Uh, those there, you're replacing all of them usually. We'll take this off. And we'll start removing the, the cover. If you're allergic to insulation, the next piece, I would definitely uh, get a mask because it's gonna be itchy. I have not had too much trouble, but some of my buddies that does this, uh, they usually use full mask and full gloves. This cover is very, very nice. Probably one of the better 39 covers I've ever seen. Very good looking. Be cautious when you take it to them to have them sandblast this if they don't know what they're doing they will warp this piece powder coater guys like to get them 
fully sanded off, they will warp this piece on you and you'll be buying a new one. One thing to write down, got two decals. You got the loading instruction decal. And you have a, a patent notice decal. Only two that uh, I've ever seen on the inside of a Vendo 39. We're talking about the pros and cons on 39. Probably a little bit of the negative is you get one selection drink to choose from each time you open that door. It's not a multi-selection, you only get one. You can put a can insert in it where it'll accept cans. I have done one of those, they're very nice. There's a gentleman that does those, who does a very good job. Um, sometimes when the drum's missing, that is uh, a good option. Just depends on if we can keep getting cans. I know the, the bottles are still available in my area. I know you have some people are buying them on the internet, but we can still get them at our local grocery stores. So you'll see uh, more gasket underneath this. You can pull that out as you go. It didn't come off on the original. There'll be uh, four more. I keep forgetting about the plastic liner in there. Did not need to change them other ones out. That's the ones that need to stay. My apologies. And we will put those back in. When I send this piece off to the powder coater, I like to give him everything that's of there. What's so crazy? I just did a 39 just four or five months ago. I should have remembered this. <laughs> And one more. Now let's see what we got left. Ah, so these are critical ones. They go into plastic. I'll, I'll show you the reason to uh, save those. But there's your liner. Very good shape. And uh, when you're looking at these screws, the plastic liner ones that goes into plastic, they'll have a little cutaway there. That helps cut it into the plastic. So when you're trying to figure out which one's going to what hole, if you see a cutaway like that in there, that is the ones that goes into the plastic. Sometimes I'll stick those right back in there. And I've had these break out, had the epoxy them, fix them. Not sure if you can get this piece here. Uh, I've always been able to save that one, so I've never had to buy one. I've done a bunch of Vendo 39s. The last piece for the door uh, is the insulation. And as you see, probably if anybody is taking any of these apart that's probably the best insulation i've seen on an inner door usually right here and up they're gone i mean they are gone insulation's been sitting in water so i'm gonna say this machine was probably an inside machine at least some of its years i know the outside's a little rough but uh we'll get some uh, gloves on and I would suggest doing gloves if you got some long ones. Gets a little itchy. Get your mask. Protect yourself because it gets a little dusty. 
if you can keep them all in one piece, uh, we will not be saving this stuff. We will be putting some better stuff in than what they had in 1940s and 50s. But you'll see a piece like that, pretty good shape, pretty good shape. Usually I'm scooping that out with a shovel. And just like that, main doors tore down. Get these little pieces out of the way. I will suggest don't see it too much, but uh, this machine's a little bit of a rarity. But you do see them. There is some chrome hinges. We will be taking them off because I'll be taking this to the sandblaster tomorrow. And I don't want him sandblasting my good chromed faced hinges. Sometimes tapping these the screwdriver. Let's go ahead and take, we got a little time here. Yeah, we got a little bit. Let's take the front door piece off. We'll show you how that goes. It's not too bad. 4 screws. If you don't feel comfortable taking that pla plastic insert out, you can tape that off with a duct tape. So when the sandblaster is doing your work, it doesn't mess up your plastic or just tell them to stay all the way off of it and you can take it off with your uh, with your own little sandpaper area if you want to take it totally out it's not that big a deal you just have to glue it back in the sandblaster guy will probably like it a lot more This one is, is in there actually pretty good and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, usually that's all loose. And if they're loose, take that thing totally out, re-glue them black, back in. It's like a black tar. You can use a totally different product than what they'll use now. You can get it in any automotive uh, body shop center and cock that back in. All right, now that ends this particular part. 
hit that subscribe button if you want to continue with this series. Thanks for viewing.